So what we're doing now, you have what in here, what's called fibrosis. Mm -hmm. You also have what we call biofilm. Mm -hmm. Fib fibrosis is essentially scar tissue. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the formation of fibrosis interferes with the fibrosion, with the, fi with the uh, formation of what we call granulation. Mm -hmm. All right. Granulation is that nice red tissue yeah. that you see mm -hmm. before the formation of skin. Okay. All right. And so if we don't get a good, what we call a granular bed, then this will never close. Now this is deeper than, you know, what it looked like when you first came in. Okay. All right. Um, you got that scissor set for me? I'm going to show you here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gloves, always. And it didn't look deep. I mean, it didn't look deep. Hmm? Well, it didn't look deep because you have, you're not, it hasn't been debrided since I saw you the other day. All right. Again, we don't want it to close outside in. We want it to close inside out. So, I'm going to show you something here. It almost looks like a separation of the foot. Well, what, what is, it's, a, it's a deep space one. Okay, so I go here. Okay, I get in here. And you see this? All right, it's way down in there. Like four inches? No, it's not four inches, but the, the, the tip of the scissor is in here. See that? Mm -hmm. It's not, I mean, it's deep enough to hold it there. All right, so it, it's a pretty deep space wound. I mean, I can feel the bottom. Like like yeah, yeah. Like right, so there's, there's still what we call a tunnel. Okay, so this is a tunneling wound. Okay. But what's good about it is that it bleeds yet more ghost. Yeah, you can get that right there. Right now. Yeah. Okay. So bleeding, which is a good sign, okay? Because whenever you're doing wound care, whenever you're doing debridement, if you see bleeding, that's a sign that it will heal. Okay. This is one of the most uh, encouraging signs that we that we look for when we're debriding a wound is, is uh, bleeding at the surface, okay? All right, I mean, I've done these and we we're cutting and cutting and nothing's bleeding. That means that, you know, the, the blood flow is pretty much completely occluded, yeah. All right. That alone will promote the healing yeah. in that, that area. So what we're doing when we get rid of all this fibrosis and then this biofilm, what biofilm is this uh, layer of protein produced by bacteria. Mm. And what it's supposed to do is protect the bacteria from the surrounding environment. Kind of like a, a, a force field in Star Wars around a ship. Right. All right. Is it the bone sitting no, no, that's that's uh, part of a uh, capsule. So the bone is underlying all this. Yeah, yeah, right here. That's not bone. It's not bone at all. If that were bone, we'd be you would have to go back to the operating room to get some of that bone taken back because we can't have bone sticking out of a wound because then it's subject to get infected. Okay. Now, what you also have here on the, on the edge is a stick callus called a hyperkeratosis. All right, we, we want to shave that down because this will stop the, for, uh, the skin on either side of the, inc of the incision to come together because that won't close. You can't have cal callus won't come, to come together and close, so you've got to get rid of it. Yeah, so all that has to go as well down in here. So, you know, so when I do these, patients can get a little concerned thinking we're making the wound bigger, when actually what we're doing is revealing the true wound, 
All right, cows covers up, it hides, it mask. Mm -hmm. All right, so we gotta take that down as much as we can. Yeah, this is so we can see what's really going on. All right. And you have to do it every time. Yeah, just about every time. I, I, I debride wounds probably 99 times out of 100. That's how you know it's here mm -hmm. from yeah. the inside out. Exactly. Not the outside in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just putting here. Just a little bit. Don't need much. Okay. Yeah, put your waist. Medicine has its perks and then it has its. Oh, they created. it. Okay. This one going on here. Yeah. Alright, so now you see why your skin has to be bone dry. Okay. The sponge is going on top of this. Mm -hmm. I don't need to put one on the bottom because there's no, not going to be any sponge there. Now, aren't you glad you don't have to do this at home? <laughs> like they say on the TV, do not try this at home. Want to. You'd be surprised. People, people yeah, call me. Can, can I do No, you cannot. I told you before we started. Oh, you cannot. You're not the medical profession. You would be surprised if people do it, huh? <laughs> you really would. Just go to YouTube and watch people do stupid stuff. That's Taking the doctor's stuff. Right? Huh? So this is the white sponge. Teeth? The teeth? Yeah. Teeth. Unless you already, I'll take that. Yeah, let me have that. All right, so this is going into our wound. This is our white foam. All right, and I'm packing it just like I do any other type of packing. Okay. See the fluid? That's not coming from your foot. That's coming from the sponge. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna, we're not going to use this for very long. Hopefully, we only need this for one or two times. Or, 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 yeah, three times. That's why there's only five in the box. Oh, okay. And it's already starting to close because it's not as deep as when we first yep. came. Like when we first put in the order. We used the, your measurements from the first visit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we need uh, scissors. Who's got gloves on? Me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. Finger, right? Here. Oh, your job. Okay. 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 Okay.
We'll go through everything once yeah. we get everything going. I'll make sure we got a good seal here. Okay. All right, see what we got. We should start training people. And charge them. Yeah, fifty dollars a class. I'll charge them. All right, let's see how things are going today. This is what beginning of week three. Yeah. Is that done? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we just need to get it to even out all the way across because the other side is kind of bumpy. Mm -hmm. You know. So we need to, when it evens out, it will really start to pick up. Yeah. All right, man. Let me tell you, brother. This here is remarkable. Mm -hmm. This looks like there was never a wound in here to begin with. Mm -hmm. Like ever. Right. So it just goes to show you when we combine technology with a good support system like you have with your wife, mm -hmm. you know, these things can heal up. I'm still chipping out on the fact that they wanted to amputate your big toe in order to close up to close up the other wound right. from the second toe. But the wound back did its work. You guys did not miss appointments to make everything go. So moral of the story is follow the game plan. And get yourself a second opinion. Yep, get yourself a second opinion and good things can happen. In this case, this this basically a miracle if you will because i've seen these things really go south quickly yeah. yeah i mean i've seen them end up with more amputations loss of the leg Whoa. you know so now we can't sit back on our laurels mm -hmm. you know we can't yeah we're glad that the wound closed up but keep in mind it's still healing right. the deeper tissues are continuing to strengthen over the next many months trying to become more normal. So we gotta keep the blood sugar in control, keep the nutrition right, keep wearing the right kind of shoe. Now that you healed up, mm -hmm. we can order for you the proper type of shoe and insole. Okay. Cause with the absence of the second toe, mm -hmm. The big toe is going to naturally want to drift over in so this that, direction. That way, right. So we got to get an insole that has a buffer between these two toes. Oh, okay. All right, so we'll order, we'll prescribe that for you mm -hmm. to keep that from happening. Because okay. if that starts happening, then it throws off the biomechanics and, you know, right. you start a whole new oh. set of issues. I'm glad for you, man. Yeah. Kudos to the wife for being diligent. Mm -hmm. Married men live longer. Mm -hmm. Tell Anthony that. Tell Anthony that. I was just about to say, tell Anthony that because right now he's not about to be married too much. <laughs> nah, married men, there's a reason why married men live longer, man. It's like a game challenge. You got to take care of me. She took care of me. Mm-hmm. All right, so very good, brother. I'm very proud of you, man. Very proud of the wife. Very, very nice outcome. And you know what's crazy about this? Mm. No scar. Right. <laughs> no scar at all. It looks like there was nothing ever there. Ever. Right. Just that. Yeah. That's yeah, that's all. That's that's from the incision, mm -hmm. from the from the first uh, from the amputation. This is Doctor Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at DC Foot Doctor. 
And most importantly, take care of your feet. Thank you.